See? <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Awful. Yep. Hey guys, this is three years later. This is Michael from Florida. He was a tough case years ago and he's back. He wants a little fine tuning. This is where I stand up and go, come on other chiropractors, show me some results. People, it's all about results. It's not about the flash and Y strap, ring dinger, you know, all these other adjustments. It's about results. And this guy's three years later. Check his story out. We have so much footage on him from three years ago. I want you to watch his story. He was a really difficult case. Yeah. And he's still better. There is no such thing as placebo effect when done correctly. You can see his before and after x-rays here. Check his story out. Love you guys. My name's Michael. I'm 29 years old and for about six months I was working in fiber optics before I had to quit. Why'd you have to quit? Uh, mostly because of pain. Just give me your impressions of how you did over the last three years and how the last program helped you, hurt you, whatever. Yeah. And then I'll go over specifics. All right, uh, so in the first program, uh, the biggest roadblock was posture. I just had this, um, just this very neurotic muscle holding pattern where I was always upright like this. And um, that first week was just a huge roadblock at trying to get my posture down. And it ultimately worked, the message got through, I would say. And then these last three years, um, I've just been adopting the posture kind of unconsciously going back to the old but then I remember and I go back to the good and new posture so it's just been kind of going back and forth but like over these past three years near the end it's been getting easier to hold the, the new posture I had a lot of stomach issues and heartburn back then that went away but um, but the but the physical pains that I felt that's pretty much still there gotcha, gotcha. it's probably not as bad but it's still there if I didn't help you that much why did you come so far I came from Florida to come see me why not to try somebody else because I knew that the first time you were here you were working against me you're, you're basically working against me because there was this huge roadblock inside me that made it difficult for your work to settle in so my thought process was you know now that I know what this is all about I'm ready to finish what we started. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm gonna go over some of the symptoms before, and his number one symptom he came in with before was sleep issues. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have any sleep issues now, so how much better is that sleep issues from before? Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem staying asleep and having yeah. energy for the day. You also had uh, neck pain, trap pain, that's sort yeah. of the same. Chest pain, I think it was sort of the same we had last time before. We had left sciatica, pain down his left leg before. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's no longer down the left leg. Heartburn was once a week before, and now you're saying it's less than that too, right? Yeah, okay. it's less. He was really, really constipated before. He was only going three times a week before. Yeah. How much better is that? A lot better, yeah. Anxiety and depression. We had that really, really bad before. Yeah. How much better do you think that is? Oh, uh, it's, a, it's a lot better. Yeah. yeah. New pains. We got pain on the left side down here. We got pain in the subscapular area. We got pain along the traps and the chest. Uh, left ear gets full sometimes. That's about it. Yeah. And it was hardcore in the first time, and take a look at those old, old videos, you'll see a lot of work in there. And I can't wait to show you this video because uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on this one that's different than the first one. We're gonna keep it simple here for the sake of comparison. Here's the original x-ray, 35 millimeter left imbalance, 24 degree scoliosis. Here, three years later, 33 millimeter imbalance and 19 degree scoliosis. Three years ago, 27 degree scoliosis, now 25 degree scoliosis. Here we have one half atlas wear, reverse cervical curve. Now today we have one half atlas wear, and a normal curve, pretty cool. Here we have forward body lean, bad posture here. Here we have much more stable, normal body lean. Okay guys, we're gonna adjust this scoliosis right off the bat. Uh, L3 has like a 20 degree scoliosis down there. I didn't do this uh, three years ago. I'm gonna do it right now because I wanna see what happens with them right off the bat. So I'm gonna go full on side posture here and adjust from the side because it's so curved. So we're gonna get right in here. And so literally, oh, yeah. yep, that's it right there. And his no. number yeah, yeah, yeah. Sensitive, yeah. yeah, right? Do you want to do your breathing now? <laughs> <laughs> he had a whole way you want to tell me how to breathe. Right, here we go. So he can tell you I'm right on it, right here. Right into his scoliosis. I'm going to go from here in and across to try to bring his scoliosis down like that. Okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So now we're going to work on his scoliosis up here. T9, it goes another, I think, 20 degrees up here too. Something like, you guys will see the x-rays. I'll put, put them right now. Loosen this up. Let his belly drop in here. And eventually I'm going to do a low back adjustment straight down here, but we're going to get this one. And scoot down to T9 right here. I 
and just shove it up. You can feel this right in here. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. and so we're going to get right in here and set it deep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Do you feel that, dog? C5, C6, actually, because I looked at his old x-rays and we really fixed a lot in his neck. Um, but the lower part is still an issue, so we're going to adjust that right now, okay? He tells me he didn't like those old adjustments, so bear with us. Uh, he said it was really painful at the beginning. He's a little scared of these, so we'll go slow, okay? A little bit, a little bit less. Yeah, yeah, but not as less. much as you probably thought. You thought it was gonna be worse in the beginning. Yeah. Too much self-adjusting. That thing popped a ton before I even adjusted it. Mm -hmm. You guys keep talking about self-adjusting being a good thing. This is what it's when it's bad. See? <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Awful. Yep. When you self-adjust, guys, all you do is you make things so lax, so loose in there that there's zero stability, and he's a perfect example of that, so stop it. Uh, I feel a lot more relaxed in my whole abdomen. Yeah. Just like it's just easier to just stand still and breathe. What are you realizing between now and the last three years of trying to get this right? Uh, that my posture still wasn't as good as it could be. Yeah. I did one tiny little change on him, and it relaxes his body immediately. Yeah. I, again, I, I was telling him a second ago, the psychosis of pain doesn't allow us to find the easy way out. It always challenges us to find the hard way out. And we always think as humans, we think we got to work harder, not smarter. And you're supposed to work smarter, not harder, but we as humans like to fucking make things way too complicated. And it really is simple. Okay, anything else you want to share? I oh, know that's it. Just feel just just feels a lot easier to just stand still and just be at ease. Less know? fidgety, right? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for that. Good to you. Not a problem. Good.